Hey, good morning, Juan and Joe from One Step Prep. Another beautiful morning here in Miami. Hey, hi to everybody. Love you guys. Let's review today a little bit the Boeing 737 uh, Classic. All right, let's review the Classic. And we're going to be talking about a little bit about the electrical. All right. Uh, so let's review the standby power of light. So look over here close. All right. And let's look. Okay. The standby power of light. Right? The standby power of light. How do we know? How do you guys know when you are when you're going to fly, right? That, that the standby system is working normally in auto. How do you know that the standby system is working normally in auto? Alright? On the ground. Because remember normally when you go um, when you guys get to the aircraft, normally the electrical power is already on. All right, the mechanics, they already have the external power connected, the AP is already running. So, most of the time, we don't have the way to check the standby power system. So how do you know normally, if you get to a cold aircraft, right? Or if you get to the sim when you guys doing your recurrent training or initial training, how do you guys know that a, the, the standby power of light or AC standby bus is working correctly? Remember that the standby power of light only monitor AC standby bus on the classic. Okay, the standby power of light, let me repeat that again, on the classic only monitor AC standby bus. Now, remember that the standby system, all right, remember that the, the standby power the standby power switch in auto on the classic would not work on the ground, only in flight. So most of the time when you get to the aircraft, the external power is already connected. So we don't have actually a way to find out exactly the standby power system is working normally in auto or if it's going to work normally when you pass it to the back position. So that's why you have to take advantage a lot of time when you, when you guys come to the sim, right? Or if it's a cold aircraft, normally the aircraft is being uh, laying over, right, or overnight, and you get to the aircraft and everything is is, is powered down, it's no power connected. Now the mechanic comes in, he puts the external power, and now you're gonna do, hopefully, the electrical power up, right, from Boeing. Remember that, the first thing you wanna do is what? Put the battery switch to on. As soon as you put that battery switch to on, what's gonna happen? what's going to happen here on the standby power off light that light should come on right the standby power off light should come on why because the standby power switch system in auto on the ground for the classic it would not work so it's telling you that a system by bus is not power so how do we check the system how do we know that the standby power system is going to work properly now well, now we know that the standby power switch in auto is working properly on the ground for the classic. Why? Because the standby power off light is on, so that's telling you that AC standby bus is not powered. So what are we going to do now? Okay, normally if you go to the supplementary procedure in volume one of your FCOM, it's going to tell you to do a standby power test. So normally what you're going to do is you're going to open the guard and move the switch to the back position. By doing that, you're forcing or you manually connecting the battery to a system by bus, right? Through the battery bus, through an inverter. So the standby power off light should go off. All right, so that's the way that we check the standby system normally on the ground. It's a very important for us to find out or to know that the standby power system it will work properly, all right? Because a lot of time, remember, we don't have the way to find out because normally maintenance already hooked up an AC system or electrical power on the aircraft. So by the time we get to the aircraft, everything is already power on, all right? So I hope you like this review. Make sure you visit our website, Joe and myself, Juan Dominguez. We always ready to help you guys as much as possible. All right, so visit OneStepPrep.com, the number one, OneStepPrep.com. We have everything that you guys need to pass your initial training and your recurrent training. Everything in ground school, everything for the same. PC, PT, we also do personal training here in One Step Prep in Miami 36 Street. 
So if by any chance you guys are visiting Airbus, Boeing, Pan Am, pass by the office, we're always here to help you guys, all right, and talk about it, all right, as much as possible. All right, so visit our website. We have a lot of stuff coming out, new. We, got, we also uh, starting with uh, flight attendant training. So that's a new training. So all the flight attendants out there or anybody that wanted to be a flight attendant, make sure you visit our website so we can help you out, right? Love you guys. Hope to see you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.